Today on Edgewater, Saskatchewan, something a little bit different, planting a way I've never done before. We're going to give it a go and see if this works well. So as you can see, we've got the tractor here and we've got this little thing on the back. This is a seed distributor. Now this is nice and cheap. I've gone and bought this. Let's go and have a look in the shop at what this is all about. This is what I was looking at leasing is this thing. I love this thing. It works great. Nice to drive around, eight meters width, and it does all the crops that you want, as well as the new lentils, flax, and peas. But then I found something a little bit different. I found this thing. This is a seed distributor. Now, this has a span of 12 meters. Now, it doesn't contact the ground. It just sprays it. It's really strange, and I've never seen anything like this. The only difference from the other one, this is 6,000 pounds. To buy outright brand new where the other one nearly 160,000 bit of a difference that other one was eight grand to lease this is six grand to buy brand new so you can see why i've gone for this the only difference is 800 liter capacity of seeds but how long is that going to last so the fields have been done ready if we're going to have a look on here you see everything's been done as it should be now so the fields have been cultivated they've also been mulched and they've got a first stage of fertilizing on them. So we've done everything we pretty much can with these fields to make sure that they are ready to go. They've been treated every way that they can. So we should. Once the seed's gone in, we need to roll it. And then once we've got to the first stage growth, fertilize them again. And we should get the best yield that we can from these. We're in September. So it means we can put some wheat in the ground now. So we're going to go jump into the tractor. We're going to double check and see that wheat is selected. And we're going to have a go at this. Now, this is going to feel really weird because, well, we normally do like a spraying option, fertilizing. But we're going to be seeding. It just, yeah, it seems really weird. So let's just go give this a try and see how we go. So we just go turn it on now. And as you can see, it's, it's spraying which is so weird so we can go around the edge we can get right up to the edge it doesn't seem to be taking it too much the only thing i'm going to find is, is tricky with this is where we've actually been the pattern change isn't massive so you do have to be very careful with this that's the only thing i can see what's going to be tricky with this is because the pattern and you, you don't actually physically see anything coming out of the actual thing at the back. You don't see anything spraying out. Like when you do fertilizer or lime, you see it spraying. The only thing I'm seeing here is the pattern change. This is so weird to see this way. This is something that's in the official mod hub, so you can go and get this as well. As far as I'm aware, it's available on all platforms. I've just never used any, anything like this before. I've never done anything like this. So we've got two fields to get sorted then the big fields we're going to use for flax but that's not till april so we're gonna to have to wait a little while for that so we'll get the wheat in here and we'll see how this goes but at least you can get right to the edge as long as you can see what you're doing that's the first 800 liters pretty much it's still got eight liters left in but this is what we've managed to do so far all the green bit has been seeded that's not bad going for 800 liters it's just very weird. So we'll go fill this back up again from the sea pallets I've got here. Definitely the cheaper option then to do this. About £950 for it. Just over a thousand litres of seeds. It, yeah, I don't know how to explain this. It's just very weird to sort of think you can spray seeds like this. It just doesn't seem right, if that makes sense. A very weird feeling to do. I'm trying to see as well. That's the only thing. You, it, it is invisible until you actually see it on the ground that the texture does slightly change. And I'm not exactly sure what's the best option. Now, you can set a worker on for this, which is pretty good. A worker will sort it out. So I'll, I'll show you here. If we go just over here now, make sure that we get close enough. But not too close. 12 meter width on it. So if we go about here, that should overlap just nicely set the worker on as you can see the workers on the worker will drop it down which I, I have noticed okay let's okay maybe my measurements are slightly off then 
thought that was going to be okay, but it seems like the worker is slightly missing it. So if we just go again now and uh, set the worker on. Very weird how it drops it down. But it is worker friendly. Now, it's definitely a cheaper option. It's £6,000 to buy the thing outright. Just the capacity is small. But if you don't mind going back and filling up, you know, a few times per field. It's six grand. It's definitely cheaper than leasing proper cedar that's still only eight meters where this is 12 meters interesting thought just a little bit left of this field to do then we've still got 148 liters so hopefully we should be able to finish this off the one cool thing about this cedar which i think is different from other cedars is you've not got to worry about overlapping so you can see we've got a little bit here and you want to try and get the most or well i did anyway i wanted to try and get the most amount of spread and coverage Without thinking, oh, I'm gonna, if I get too close, I'm going to be wasting a lot of seeds. But it seems like it knows this. So this area here, as you can see on the map, it's green. I've done it. I can go and turn it on. If you look at the bottom near the speedo, I've still got 148 liters. Even though it's, it's, it's on, you can see it changing the pattern behind the tractor because the tires are going. But because it's already got seed in the ground, let's just zoom in. You can see it's, it's actually getting a lot working. But because the seed's already there, it detects the seeds there. So it doesn't actually use any seed unless it's found an area that you haven't actually seeded. There's a lot, lot of seed in that. I hope that kind of makes sense. So like here, you can see that I haven't seeded. So it'll only start using it on the bits that it hasn't done. So you can just run around, leave it on. And you haven't got to worry thinking, oh, turn it off because I'm wasting it. Like you would with fertilizer. And I think if you use like a normal cedar, you overlap something you've already done. It will still like use it because it will like reseed it again. So here, all this area I've done, but you can see I can drive around, leave it on. Still 115 liters left. And then as soon as I go over this bit here, which hasn't been seeded, it will start to drop and actually plant it in. There you go, 111 now. That is so cool. That's one little thing I do like about this. So, where at the start I was thinking, I can't really see that well where you've covered. There's going to be a lot of overlap and you're going to be wasting a lot of seed. No, it will only pick the areas you haven't done and actually use the seed for that. That's pretty cool. So, let's go back and fill up there more seed. Let's back up to this one now. We can tackle. We have got this big field right in front of where I'm on now. This is one of my fields. But this is the one that's going to have the flax in. As you can see, it hasn't been prepared yet. It needs mulching, it needs cultivating, it needs fertilizing, it needs everything. And you can see, this is where we are in a minute. It's quite a size. So what I might do is I might actually test this one with a normal cedar. Just to see what the difference is. Because there's a lot to do on there. And this little bit over here, this is ours as well. So we've got all this and this bit here. So there's a lot to get through. But now we just need to go finish off this field 51 of wheat. We can let them start growing. A headland of this field has all been done. And this is the only one thing I have found out that you do have to be careful with. Because with this sort of spraying out, you can't see the ends of it. You have to be careful when you've got, like I've got here, two fields back to back. We don't want wheat going into the next field. One, it's not prepared yet. And two, you just don't want wheat going in there. But because you can't see the edge of where the seed sort of spray pattern is going to, that's what you've got to be careful with. You've got to make sure you're on the edge. Maybe then once you get it lined up, use a worker to do a nice straight line so it doesn't go over into the next field. That's any difference from using a normal cedar. You can physically see the edge of the cedar so you know to run it along the grass and it's not going to go over. But apart from that, this little thing's great. It'd be nice if it maybe had a bigger capacity. It would just stop you going back and forth filling up. But apart from that, six grand brand new perfect in my eyes just a couple of little bits to go then these two pallets have lasted really well i think the fact that it doesn't use any seed like on the original bits that you've already done like here for example that's what makes this so much better if this kept churning away it, it would make it quite tricky because you would waste a lot of seed but the fact that it it stops that's brilliant but it's definitely been a different way to do these fields. 
and i would advise just maybe keep checking on the little uh, map here to see that you can see it's all covered in green just a little bit to go over here just to make sure you have covered everywhere but apart from that i can't see anything wrong with this just the the size you know 800 liters doesn't go far maybe if you had ways that you could actually change it that might make it a little bit better but i don't think that's an issue at all just carry carry a pallet of seed around with you you'll be you'll be okay well there we go that's perfect that is it's going to be a little while before we can actually do anything with them and harvest them we can't harvest wheat until august next year so yeah there's going to be a little while before we can do anything with that so now the seeding is all done the next thing we need to do is go and roll this roller is really handy because it's a multi-roller so we just go jump out and have a quick look at this it's a multi-roller so you can buy one of these it's not the cheapest it's about one hundred and forty thousand. so i've leased this at the minute because well as you can see funds are very low we're down to six thousand two hundred and ninety six at the minute really can't wait till january comes around when we can actually go and sell the flax and that's about 180 grand we're gonna get for that but this yeah multi-roller so you can use this as a field roller you can use it as a uh, mulcher and you can use it as a grass roller so three different things in one so once you buy it you just have to go and edit it take it to a workshop change it to a grass roller mulcher or a field roller pretty cool you find this on the mod hub as well it's the lizard mega roll 2430 multi roller so like i said you can change from field roller grass roller or mulching all in one that's pretty cool definitely worth getting on your farm then just, just one thing it does them all let's jump in let's open her up then 24 meter width look at this thing unfold my word might be a bit big for this map are we going to be able to get around these fields boy this is it didn't sound too bad until you do open it up and then you're kind of like oh okay but it does flex which is good so you'll be able to get around all the edges and the little bumpy bits around the edge it will flex so it'll go around and you just got to watch the trees though the width is mental probably going to miss a few little bits but yeah this is not the map for these kind of things i suppose something this size when you're trying to keep close to the edge you could always come back and tweak it if you do miss a few little bits it's not the end of the world but i do like this really do like this find it on the official mod hub as well if i've not already said so 24 meters and little fields like this you will get through this pretty quick so i definitely think when i've got the money i definitely want one of these headland complete now if we're gonna have a look on here you can see the light blue bit is the bit that needs rolling that's not bad actually there's a few little spots that there's a little bit just there and a few down here but then this is where you're running along the fence and you've got telegraph poles which are <laughs> obstacles that you need to work around but just look at the width on that one pass that's pretty impressive so let's go ahead and get the rest of this field done one field down then one more to go this thing works ace now if you're wondering if you think you've seen this before then this is the standard in-game one that's slightly been tweaked this is the one that's the in-game mega roll 2430 the only difference with this is this does one thing this is just a roller that's it the other one looks the same but it's been tweaked to do three different things field roller grass roller mulcher but also this one you can lift up the in-game one once you open it it drops on the floor and you can't lift it up it's permanently down that's the only thing with that one i just don't understand as you can see with this one it's got these little actuators here that are lifting this whole like cage up and it's lifting them off the ground as you can see but the standard in-game one of this doesn't do that it all stays on the ground so these rollers touch all the time when it's opened up 
the way we're driving around it's sliding all over the place at least now with this you can lift it up and actually run it on its wheels so much better so let's go ahead drop this down look at that see get started go around do a headland shouldn't take too long with this sheer size of it we'll get this done and then fields are pretty much done that's one headland around now the sheer size of this thing it's pretty much done the whole field i have literally gone around and done one headland but you see the top air up here it has literally done the whole lot it's just this little blue bit in the middle i've got to finish off so that's everything done on this field and you can see look at that looking good all just showing the mulch stage now and if you wonder what these little blue bits are here it's just where the sprayer kind of sprayed over onto uh, yeah someone else's field so let's go ahead and fold this thing up now we'll take this back to the yard i'm wondering now this is least i'm wondering if it's probably worth holding on to it i'm just worried about we've got to go through a few days and a lot of leasing costs when you go through a few days that's the only problem so for now i'm going to park this up next to the uh, the big trailer with the wings on i'm going to put the tractor back and I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode then because we can't do much else at the minute. We need to fertilize the fields that we've just done, but that means going to sleep. And the problem with going to sleep means I'm going to get charged another daily fee for these things. So that's least, that's least. We've got a cultivator and obviously the, the big baler. That thing's least as well. Now, I don't really want to send them back because... I want to try and do some contracts. So I think what I'm going to try and do between now and the next episode is see if I can do a contract or two just to give the bank balance a bit of a boost. And then that will get us through the leasing costs until we can start turning around our field. Because in Jan, the flax, they come good. If I have a look on this time-saving stock checker thing that I've got, which is a mod you can find on the mod hub, it's awesome. It everything you have on your farm and in your silo it tells you here so you can look at the best price of how much you've got so we've got forty-eight thousand liters of flax if i sell them now there are 149,000 we'll get back from and that's on the train but in jan we'll get 188,000 for selling them that's not bad so we're going to wait until jan for the best price for that canola is the same sort of situation with canola we get another 10 grand if we wait till feb for that one so we're going to do that as well now, the only problem is it is on the train. Now, the last time you might have seen in the previous episodes that I have had an issue with trying to get the train here, it didn't turn up. So I'm not really sure what to do there. We might need to find what's the second best place. Or we could give it a go and see if we can get the train to turn up. But looking down here, there is quite a few things you can see on the contract list. There's a lot of things to harvest. And there's a nice field number six this is the one on the contract send field number six everything you see in purple is flax that is ready to harvest so it's a contract i am tempted to do off camera see if i can just boost the bank balance a little bit that will get us through for the leasing cost as well so for now we're going to leave this episode here i'm going to do a few contracts off camera and we're going to come back in the next month and we're going to fertilize and then hopefully we're going to be able to sell the flax in jan if you are liking these episodes, then please do give them a thumbs up and leave any comments you want below or any questions. I'd love to get your feedback. Thank you so much for watching then. I'll see you in the next one.